Mic check is Shantae Arnett. What's going on, y'all? Let me clock in real quick because I want to get your guys' opinion on something. Um, okay. I consider myself an activist, right? I consider myself an advocate. I consider myself an activist. And while I'm not able to physically stand with the people as much as I would like to, I'm working towards that. I have dedicated myself to, you know, you know, speaking out about championing causes, spreading the word, doing these shows to spread the awareness about the causes that I truly believe need to be speaked about, spoken about, speaked about. Um, and I have made my social media platform my ministry of activism if that makes sense, until I'm in a place where I can go and, you know, stand with the people at the protests and do all the things that I want to do and go and talk to the people physically and be in the rooms. Um, I do what I do online, right? So, yes, I do consider myself an activist in that, right? And I consider myself an advocate and... With that being said, does that mean that it is my responsibility to then take on causes that I am not immediately championing? Championing. Um, I say that to say because I've been thinking about it and I was having a conversation with someone and they were giving, and we were talking about a specific subject and then they brought up another subject that was a social injustice issue that they felt that no one was talking about, right? And so my immediate thought was, well, because I don't know about it, that's why I haven't been talking about it personally, but you know, I think you should definitely get the word out because you have the information, right? So my line of thinking was to encourage this person to get the word out, right? And that they should be talking about it, right? Is that wrong? Like what, sh like, what should my course of action have been? Because I kind of feel conflicted about it in thinking about it because I am the person who dedicates myself to this work. I am the person who decided that I'm going to be the person who's going to speak out about these causes and say these things out loud and be unapologetic and in, and in people's face with the things that I feel truly convicted about. So... my immediate reaction was to say, okay, well, talk about it. Like, tell people about it. Send me the info. I'll talk about it. But I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of overtaken right now with the stuff that I have going on with the POC, POV, in my queer view, essays with essay, um, working outside of, you know, the YouTube space, working on, you know, doing shows and drag and music. Um, not to mention that I'm a husband and a father. So it's a lot that I have going on at once. So I kind of felt like in that second, my plate was overloaded, right? And I was like, okay, now mind you, I do think that this needs to be talked about and I do, and I do think that the word needs to be spread about this. However, I do not have the spoons to serve this tea at the moment. But I do think that you should use your voice and your platform to get the message heard, right? Is it wrong to encourage someone to do this type of work that they didn't sign up for? Hold on a second. My bad. Hmm. 
because I dedicated myself to doing this type of work and I see myself really progressing in the world of activism in the future and making it a hand in hand part of my career along with drag and music. Is it my responsibility to then be the voice of all causes that I truly believe need to be spoken out for? Because the issue that was brought to me was a credible issue that does need to be spoken out about. And I am going to take time to research and make an essays with essay about the topic. But the point of me doing this video is I wanted to talk through my feelings and kind of get through and see like what you guys thought because I don't want to come off offensive or come off like I don't care because I have other things going on. That's why I wanted to make sure to articulate the point that I believe that this needs to be talked about, the word needs to be spread, and I encourage you to do it. I think you should definitely be talking about it. But in further reflection, I feel like I may have come off harsh in the delivery of my message and the point may not have gotten through. But it did lead me to question also, is it wrong of me to tell someone to go and be an activist when they didn't sign up to be? Is it wrong of me to put someone in a position to deal with the type of issues that I deal with that come with being willing to unapologetically speak about issues that piss people off on a regular basis. Do you know what I mean? So while I don't know, I don't know how I feel because on one hand, I believe in I believe in encouraging people to use their voice, right? But at the same time, there's also a time and place for everything. And if somebody did not sign up to do this type of work and if they do not choose to subscribe themselves or subject themselves rather, to the type of backlash or the type of engagement that can come with doing this, I kind of lost where my question was being formed, but is it wrong for me to push somebody into doing that? Or should I just take the information, put it on my bullet point list of things to do and get to it when I get to it. I mean, make it a priority, of course, but, you know, figure out how I'm going to get it done. So I just, I don't really have much more to say about it because I feel like I'm rambling on at this point and I feel like I'm becoming repetitive. So I just want to like get your guys' opinion and see what y'all think about it because I don't want to come off like the issue is less than what I'm already talking about, right? So... I want your guys' opinion because I'm going to talk about the topic regardless, but I want to know, was I wrong for encouraging that person to speak up and speak out, right? Because when I say speak up and speak out, I'm meaning more than just click share on Facebook, right? I'm talking about really address the issue, lean in, tap in get the facts, do the research, and really, like, articulate, okay, here's the facts, here's what's going on, here's the problem with it, and here's why you need to care, right? I'm finding my structure in my channel, 
as I'm doing these videos every day almost, I'm starting to find my structure of like what the purpose or like how the format of my video is gonna go in a sense, you know. Um, but yeah, so, I don't know. You guys give me your opinions. I'm kind of, I kind of don't have anything else to say, but drop down in my comments, hit me in the inbox, let, and let me know what you guys think. Hit me on all social media, at Shantae Arnett, S-H-A-W-N-T-A-E, A-R-N-E-T-T-E. -E. Um, that's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. All one word, drop down in the comments, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all those things that your favorite YouTubers tell you to do in their videos. Um, and yeah, thanks. Peace.